Welcome back to another video with IDN TV. Now we are on part seven of Alpo Martinez. Today makes a week since his passing uh, uh, during those early mornings of Halloween 2021. Now I'm coming with some exclusive information. I'm coming with some from the horse's mouth, people that actually knew Alpo. Like I was saying in my previous videos, I would love to hear people that knew Alpo personally. And in this particular video, or I'm gonna tell you guys about people that knew Alpo while he lived in Maine. And it seems like he had everybody fooled out or maybe he was a changed man. You guys can decide on which side you take about this. Now, before we even start this video, here is a screenshot from the people that actually knew Alpo. Alpo was like a big figure or pretty much a great friend in Maine. Now, when I say this, a lot of people on Facebook had reactions to what happened to Alpo. Now, I will cross out their names, but these are official people. And I'll tell you why in a few seconds. Now, there's one person by the name of LH. They said, this is insane, man. I remember when we went to see Star Wars in the theaters with him and had sushi after. Was honestly such a nice guy. He would just stop at the house and play Mario Kart with us. So weird. Now, another person under that that knows Alpo as well, they said, right. He was so happy to be around us. He would just hang out, come to our 4th of July parties, birthdays, and everything. I think he even played basketball with Alex, too. It's just mind-blowing. Now, like I said, Alpo did get released in 2015, you guys, and he picked actual Maine to go to. Nobody picked it for him. The law enforcement witness protection didn't pick it for him. I guess Alpo picked it maybe because it was closer to New York, and maybe he was doing his research about it while he was locked up. Now, he came to Maine in 2015. Now, he was given a new identity. Now, while he was given that new identity, he went to the bank to actually create a bank account. This is when he met his first person that was one of his best friends in Maine, and we're going to call him Nick. Now, Nick said that he had no idea that Alpo was a government official. Now, back in 2015, he was only 24 years old and a charismatic, happy-go-lucky, very friendly person by the name of Alpo. Well, not to him, but Alpo walked into the bank and he pretty much helped Alpo make a bank account. Now, Nick was giving the interview to the article. Now, he was saying that he had no idea that Alpo was with the government. He said he never seen any government officials around him, and he pretty much was just living a regular life. Like I said, everybody is saying that Alpo was very friendly, a person that was just to get the shirt off their back and do anything to look out for his quote-unquote friends. They became friends immediately. Now, the thing that I looked about, Alpo was 49, and this guy was only 24 years old. So, of course... I guess his way into their friendship was just out to party and have fun and things like that. Now, the same night that he actually opened a bank account with Alpo, they went out to a pool hall. Alpo was pulling out the Harlem on him. He said he was running up to random women, always successful getting women. That's what his friend Nick said. He said that Alpo was so blunt and so upfront that he got every woman. He was very charming with the women. While Nick introduced Alpo to the life in Maine and around the surrounding areas, Alpo introduced Nick. To the celebrity life now according to nick he said that alpo would take him to parties where they were getting vip they would be near rappers celebrities and it was all good alpo always said that he knew somebody wherever they was at he said that he knew somebody that would look out for him and he knew he pretty much was a constant person that was always networking so alpo like just being him charismatic on top of that he was very good at networking now nick said they were really good friends people would they would go over each other's houses he's been to alpo's houses alpo's been to his house he said they would do simple things like make food go out to club cookouts you know birthday parties and things like that and a lot of people in that main area said that alpo was a very good guy now before actually hitting the clubs Alpo's old friend Nick, he said that Alpo was a very hardworking man. Now, he worked with Pepsi and he also worked with Walmart for a year or two. Now, after he worked with those two companies, he started his own construction company that lasted for a year. He would pretty much work in commercial buildings. They would tear down all the bad stuff. They would demo the inside of the commercial buildings right before the painters would come in and do their thing. And Alpo said that he really prided himself on making sure he had everything done right during that deadline now on top of that having that own construction company he did drive trucks he drove big 18 wheelers he had his commercial license and on occasion nick would go with alpo on rides with that 18 wheeler even though he had all of these jobs in which he pretty much couldn't afford carrying large amounts of cash alpo kept cash on him he even gave his friend nick ten thousand dollars and told him to pay him back when he needed it but you know nick is looking like okay how is he having all this money? And I see what you're doing. I helped you file your taxes. It doesn't show this amount of money that you're carrying around. But like he said, like Nick said, he said that it was none of his business. He really didn't care. He was just happy to be friends with Alpo or Abraham 
Rodriguez to the government. Now, Nick actually shared pictures of Alpo while he was in Atlanta driving a drop top Rolls Royce during the All-Star weekend last year. Now, here's the picture and here's the actual video Alpo. It looks like Alpo, I think people were saying that was Alpo's nephew, so roll it. Now, and also, he showed a picture of Alpo jumping off yachts while on vacation. Mind you, he's working a very modest job. He's living in a very modest location. But he has the cars. He has the vacation. He has the lifestyle. So, it was showed that Alpo was definitely living life and he was enjoying life on his own terms. Now, Nick also explained that Alpo was going through a lot in 2020 last year when his mom and his sister passed away. And he said it really affected Alpo. Before his sister and his mom passed, that he would travel bi-weekly. He would fly from Maine to New York to see, you know, his family. After his sister and his mom passed, Alpo changed. They said that he was very, like, he was very sad and pretty much the opposite of what he was or people knew him as. Now, he said Alpo got closer to his kids. And I, like the rumors are saying on the internet, a lot of people are saying that Alpo had a lot of kids. Uh, he was spending time with his kids after his mom and his sister passed. Now, five weeks before Alpo passed away, he packed up his U-Haul truck in Maine and he moved to New Jersey. Now, in this exclusive picture, Alpo actually asked him to take a picture of the U-Haul because he was going to put this picture in his autobiography that he was working on. Check it out. Now, a few days after that, Alpo passed away. Now, everybody knows about this. Everybody know that Alpo is gone. It's an unfortunate situation. But like I said, this is history. Let me know how do you feel about this in the comments below. Me personally, I think it's some type of disorder. I, I feel like it's really something disturbing about it. Um, I feel like this is not normal for you to... I don't know if he was acting like this just to ultimately do something to somebody or just to gain the trust of people i don't know but like people said like doing my research on alpo he's always been like that so i don't know if it was malicious or he was just being himself but i just find it funny that he's just jumping back in a regular life feed it off the energy of you know being around people and being good to people so let me know how you feel about this in the comments below this was a really really good article you guys um i will catch you on the next video this is alpo number seven i'll come with number eight i don't know if they're doing a memorial service they were saying that they were going to do maybe a parade around harlem i would love to see that I would love to see that. I would pay my top dollar to see that. So if that happens, you'll be the first to hear from me. You'll be the first to hear from me. At the end, I will catch you in the next video. And look, man, check out the playlist. This is the playlist to all the Alpo videos. If you missed anything, we got people, witnesses. We got people on the scene. It's all Alpo. So make sure you check out the playlist. Dig deep into it and subscribe if you want more videos like this.